Sunday morning, January 10th. We are freezing in Palestine, Arkansas. It is 29 degrees. We don't like cold, and it's going to get even colder. Let me see. Uh, look here. What does it say it's going to be up there? Holy crap, 16 in Chicago. Uh -huh. Not good. But the Powerball, 1.3 billion projected for this next drawing on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm going to get a bunch of tickets. Be a fool not to. Yes, the odds are against me. I just... <laughs> I'm flabbergasted by that. But anyway, here's our plans. We're going to go up as far as Benton, Illinois. Chris is going to see her best friend, whom she hasn't seen in a couple of years. Because we don't go up there anymore. And I'm going to stay asleep. Then when it's time for me to get up, we only got five more hours to go to Chicago. We'll be there about maybe one o'clock in the morning at the latest. And we do a drop and hook and then we sit until tomorrow tomorrow morning waiting on a load assignment so that's what we have planned hopefully all goes well I checked the uh, radar and all the storms and stuff have already passed to the east so we should have clear sailing now, that don't mean there won't be any minor precipitation. It's just the big storm front has moved past. So. We gotta play it by here. I think God's gonna smile on us weather-wise. He knows we're weather wimps. <laughs> we can take the heat. But we done got ourselves acclimatized away from the cold. So I guess I'm going to check back in when uh, when I get up. Got two little clips to show you. Chris, when she came back in from taking Alizé out, and then when we got Alizé up on the seat, in her little jack-o'-lantern sweater with the little bells on it. So you're going to see those next, and then we go into when I get back out of bed. <laughs> Look at her all bundled up. It's cold. Hi, <laughs> little girl. It's cold, huh? I need to fix your beanie. Okay, we're gonna do a little something different today. We're gonna 
prep some food. The avocado dip that I'd been talking about, basically guacamole if you want to be picky. We're going to go over making it. Now, here's the ingredients. If I can get them all together. Yes, I am sitting on the bed. We have one large container Chobani Greek yogurt, plain. Make sure it's plain. Okay, you don't want vanilla or lemon or anything else like that. We have four avocados. We have two jalapenos. We have cilantro, lime juice, and yes, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Instead of chopping up sun-dried tomatoes and onions and all that other stuff, I'm gonna use one packet of guacamole mix. Now, this isn't regular guacamole. The regular guacamole, you just use this stuff, or you chop up onions and tomatoes and jalapenos, and mash it up with avocados. This has a different flavor to it, and Chris really likes it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use about half this lime juice. Then I'm gonna chop the tops off of these jalapenos and drop them in there. Grab about half this bundle of cilantro, put it in there. And we're gonna process, process that in the Vitamix. That's sitting right down here. Yes, pardon the mess, okay. We got two of us and a big dog, a lot of clothes, groceries, we do everything in this truck, so very tiny space, so it tends to get to be a mess. But this will end up being real thick when I'm done with it, which is a little bit of an issue. So make sure you got your plunger, because you need the plunger for this. And here's the lid for the Vitamix jug. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep the first bat, uh, first portion of it, get it processed, and show you what that looks like. Okay, the first part's done. This is everything except for the avocado and the yogurt. So, looks like that. Looks about like a pesto sauce, right? Uh, oh, and I ended up, that lime ball was a little bit smaller than I thought, so I ended up using the whole thing. Now, don't try to taste test this. These are very strong jalapenos. You will burn yourself, unless you're used to just munching jalapenos straight. But trust me, the lime juice kicks it up a bit. So now I'm gonna add my yogurt, and then I'm gonna cut out my avocados. Basically standard style. Cut them in half, remove the pit, Use a spoon to scrape them out. Put all that in the Vitamix, and then I'm gonna process it again. Okay, I know it's loud, but here we are. We're walking this stuff down through real good. Make sure to get everything in there. Five minutes all together from the time I started this and we're done we got about one and a half of these bowls right here these bowls hold five cups so we got this much in this one which is about four cups worth and we got another two and a half cups in here and this stuff's good now it's a little bit thin right now Okay, that's because the Vitamix heats things up as it processes them. If I left the Vitamix on for another five or six minutes at the most, this stuff would be boiling. So refrigerate it. After you're done processing, immediately refrigerate it. And it will thicken up. Where's my lid? <laughs> uh, once it's all cooled off, it'll be nice and thick and creamy and smooth and be a perfect little guacamole dip. Now, you can 
use it straight on chips. You can put it in sandwiches, put it in salads, whatever you want to do. It's really, really good for all that. Plus, it is very healthy. Okay? This whole bowl right here, or this half bowl, all together only has about 500 calories in it. That's the non-fat Greek yogurt, avocados, which are very healthy for you. Uh, the powdered guacamole mix, that's all just vegetables. And lime juice and cilantro. I mean, there's nothing bad for you in this. So it's good and healthy. It's great on corn chips, you know, regular tortilla chips. Uh, it's real good as a condiment on sandwiches. Uh, if you have like tortilla soup or something like that, put a couple of spoonfuls in there. It's just really good. Now, what I did is I started off with a basic recipe I found online that said, put avocados in Greek yogurt. And I used the standard guacamole dip concept of the powder, yeah. I prefer to do everything chopped up from scratch, but it's time consuming. And we're in tight quarters. So I basically modified them and came up with this. And Chris used to get the avocado sauce in the jug when she could find it. Uh, she really liked that. She likes this a heck of a lot better. Everybody that we've given some to has really, really liked it. So go for it try it yes you can make food in the truck okay this was basic simple and easy we have a gas grill a portable gas grill I'll cook out on it we have an electric skillet sometimes we'll cook in here we have a microwave we have a crock pot you can eat good in the truck and uh, yeah she's got her curie coffee maker too <laughs> Okay, that's it for this break. By the way, we are in Benton, Illinois, and it is freezing! There's snow on the ground! We don't do snow! <laughs> oh, Alze shaking her head up there. She heard me. She heard snow. Shaking her head no. Uh, we got another 325 miles to go to Chicago. So... We'll check back in with you in a little bit. Okay, one more quickie. To clean a Vitamix, you pour in water with a little bit of soap, and you turn it on, and you let it get good and hot. Now, to show you this, I'm gonna have a hard time doing this. Uh, look at that steam coming off of there. Kind of hard to see right here because it's real warm in the truck, but if I bring it out here, look at that steam boiling off of there. Wow. <laughs> so, ran all the funky stuff out, now I gotta run clean water through it again, and then wipe it down and it's clean. Cold, it's zero degrees out here. We are in Streamwood, Illinois, Chicago. Zero degrees. Ugh. Just had Alize out. Just long enough to do her business and she wanted to run around in the snow and I'm freezing to death. Apparently she liked it. Hey, your eyes running. See the cold getting to you too and you didn't know it. Wow. We're here. Nobody's in receiving so we gotta wait until morning. guess I'm going to close out. You have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Say bye. Say bye. Okay, don't say bye. Bye.